Redmond, who is CEO of Nextgate, which is a company which works to stop hack jabs, uh, hack jabs, hack jobs. I'm going to put my teeth in tonight. Hack jobs before they've caused any real damage. Devin, by no stretch of the imagination, are you the only company out there providing the sort of uh, software which might prevent the sort of uh, uh, the sort of um, problems that the AP had yesterday? But certainly. Um, we can say that the APK sh shows that, that, that hackers can have a huge effect, right? How yes. do they do this? So there are a variety of mechanisms that hackers can use to get access to an account. In this scenario, it's believed that it was a phishing attack. Uh, something as simple as sending an AP employee a message saying, update your account, send us your credentials because something's happened on the account, and tricking them into disclosing those credentials. And in that scenario, once they have those, they can log in, take ownership of the account, change the profile picture, change the description, and start putting out erroneous tweets. Um, how would software like yours work? Sure. So uh, our technology and other technologies that are designed to protect accounts in particular uh, are designed to look at anomalies on the accounts or look at anomalies in the social networks themselves. So use this, 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 this uh, situation as an example. Exactly. So in this situation, what would have happened is any change to that account, uh, somebody gets added to the account, the password changes, a profile picture is changed, or the description of the account is different, mm. uh, would have triggered a notification as well as an option to automatically remediate that event. But what I don't understand is you're suggesting that if I had been working for APS and I updated my profile your software would be would be watching for that but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a hacking job no, going exactly. on. Exactly. So it would give you an opportunity to confirm and say yes this was a legitimate event or not a legitimate event. If you do not confirm then it actually takes preemptive action uh, and removes that content. We've suggested this isn't the first time nor will it be the last that uh, an organization's uh, Twitter accounts get hacked into. This caused a lot of damage of course uh, thank God only uh, short term. Um, how often is this going on? Uh, it's going on with increasing frequency. Uh, people are realizing that it's a great platform to take advantage of, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or another social network. Uh, and the reality is getting access to that gives you a voice mm -hmm. to many. Uh, till Up until now, the, the damages have been relatively minor, right? Embarrassment, costs of remediating the embarrassment, press conferences, those types of things. But now that somebody's keyed in on a, the ability to do something that has a massive financial impact in the market, uh, you're going to see it increase even more. Earlier today, Devin, uh, Australian police arrested the leader of another uh, hacker group, authorities, and I just want our viewers uh, to, to be filled in on this, uh, haven't released the name of the suspect, uh, but he was allegedly part of a notorious uh, hacking group called Lul's Sec. He's charged with two counts of computer hacking and could face 12 years behind bars. The company, which stands for Laughing at Your Security, has uh, claimed credit for hacking the FBI, the US Senate and Sony. And the SEA join a long, this is the uh, uh, Syrian Electronic Army, of course, join a long list of hacking groups, the most notorious of, uh, notorious of which is Anonymous, of course. It's a, a huge alliance of hackers who take on big targets. And reminding our viewers again, in 2010, they froze thousands of accounts which, uh, uh, with payment to companies like Visa and MasterCard, and, and there were various other issues uh, around. Um, if I were somebody running a small to medium-sized enterprise um, tonight, what would your advice be? Sure. So there are a handful of things that you can do to protect yourself. Uh, first and foremost is best practices. Make sure you've got a good password. Recycle your password often. Make sure that you don't respond to phishing emails that are trying to get access, verify everything that's happening. Uh, and then beyond that, use technology to monitor your accounts and make sure that that what you want to happen is actually happening. In addition to that, a lot of people just use written guidelines and policies. Uh, and this is very similar to the early days of the internet where uh, enforcement was done by having something written down and saying, hey, everybody follow this. And the reality is uh, you need technology to automate that enforcement as well, right? Put guardrails on the side of the road and let people go, but make sure there's some safety in place around that.